Welcome to the channel where a word to the wise is sufficient. Welcome to the place where we gain clarity, up-level our mindsets, clearing him all of those energetic blockages so that we can manifest the glory of God that we are so that you can be the best person that you're supposed to be so that you can meet up with the destined version of your beautiful self, your perfect soul. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I hope that y'all are having a beautiful day. I hope that you are not allowing anything to interfere with your peace. I hope that you are protecting your energy, that you are creating a sanctuary space for your spirit. I hope that you're recognizing that although you are in this world, you are not of this world and that nothing gets to take your peace away. Nothing gets to take your personal sense of sanctuary. Nothing, no thing. You came here to experience your multi dimensionality. And if you're not feeling your multidimensionality in this moment, it is because you are being worked on. You are being transformed into your multidimensional self. And this is new down here in this third dimensional psych ward. So it is not going to be seamless. And I ask you to go in to take the stride to walk forward, to harmonize, and to protect your thoughts. And when those thoughts come in and you don't like them, please remember that those thoughts are not yours. Those thoughts reflect whatever it is that you are tuning into. They reflect the broadcast that you have turned your dial to. They reflect the level of this 3D psych ward that you happen to be in. They reflect the, the um, echelon that you are in. Because remember, everything is energy, y'all. Everything is energy. And if everything is energy, what does that mean? It means that in each and every moment, you have to be looking for and understanding what cannot be seen. You have to be looking at and understanding the realm of, oh my gosh, the multitude of things that are happening behind the scenes to create what it is that you are seeing, that you are experiencing, that you're listening to. Those thoughts are not yours, okay? They're just... The collective chatter, all of the chatter that's going on in the collective that you're tapped into, that you're tuned into, because that happens to be the frequency that you happen to be on. But at any given moment, you can get off that frequency any number of ways. You can get off that frequency by addressing your trauma, by dealing with your, your shadows, those lower aspects within yourself, the things you need to work on. You can address that chatter by recognizing that life is a mirror, relationships are mirrors, the universe is a mirror. And if it's showing you something you don't like, it just means there's some work you have to do. You can address that chatter by remembering it's not yours. You don't even have to listen to it. It's busy stuff. It's not yours. You know how like when you cut the TV on, there's always going to be a channel, right? Whether you put the channel on there or not, there's always going to be a channel. Remember when you were when you were much younger? And uh, we had those TVs. I, I'm assuming y'all, <laughs> I know I had them. Like we had like maybe four channels. I think it was two and three, maybe six and seven. Shoot, and maybe just 10 and 11. 12 might've been a channel, but the point is whenever you cut the TV on or after a certain point in time at night, and this sounds so antiquated y'all, after a particular point in time in the evening, the TV would go off and all you had was static, right? <laughs> 
That's how you knew you were up past bedtime. You cut the TV on and you just see this stuff. And for those of you all who get migraine headaches, y'all know what I'm talking about. You see this, this staticky stuff. That's what happens when I lose my vision. I just see the staticky stuff. When I was a kid, I used to just panic. I said, oh my God, what if I don't get my eyesight back? So that static is always going to be there. You didn't put it there. You didn't ask for it to be there. It's just there. That's the way your thoughts are. Until you get behind the steering wheel and you dictate your thoughts and you're in control of your thoughts or you are watching the traffic on the super highway of this collective consciousness and you say, oh my God, I just heard that I'm not good enough. Oh my God, I just heard that I'm worthy. Oh, unworthy. Oh my God, I just heard that I'm stupid. Oh my God, I just heard I'm a fat slob. Oh my God, I just heard I'm not smart enough. I just heard I'm broke. I'm never going to become a millionaire. I, oh my gosh, I just heard that whatever it is I'm trying to do is not going to work. You got to laugh at that. You got to catch that thought. You got to catch it and you got to clip it. You got to affirm truth. You'll hear me say affirm truth. Okay, affirm truth so that you may ascend and actualize. Affirming truth means uprooting falsehood, pulling the weeds out of the garden of your soul, out of the garden of your life. Whatever it is that's trying to strangle the beautiful flowers and you are the biggest sunflower. Whatever it is that's trying to strangle that, you got to pull that up. You got to look at that thought. You got to say, shoot, shoot, that's not me. I must be tuned in to this low vibe chat box, chat room, uh, telegram, thread, whatever this is. The room that I'm in, I'm picking up on, I'm hearing, I'm internalizing telepathically the thoughts that they are having. Let me... See what it is I need to learn from this room so that I can get up out of this room. Because after all, this is the earth school. This is the, the university. There's a class that you are enrolled in at any given time. More of us are enrolled in multiple classes. Some of you may be enrolled in I'm Not Good Enough 101. Others of you are enrolled in Trauma 101. Some of you are enrolled in Karmic Debt 101. Some of you are enrolled in Karmic Debt 102 because you got so much that Karmic Debt 101 is not going to be enough. Some of you are enrolled in Life is Kicking My Ass 101 because you haven't mastered the principles of Patience 101, Energy 101, Everything is Vibration 101, This is Not Real 101. I'm a multidimensional being, 101. Some of you are in, uh, let me stay on this hamster wheel, 101. Some of you are in false twin flame, 101. Some of you are in karmic relationship. In fact, that's the class that I have been told the majority of us fail again and again and again. And even when we pass that class and we go on to karmic relationship, 102, Sometimes we flunk that class several times and we still can't get out because there's more than one, there's more than two, there's more than three karmic relationship 100 series classes. And that, like I said, is the one that most people flunk again and again and again and again. They don't want to listen. They don't want to study. They're given all the cheat sheets. All the tests are open book. They continue to have to repeat the class because they won't turn in the projects. They won't show up for the extracurricular activities. They refuse to get the lessons. They are definitely the biggest infraction. They refuse to study. So this life is really, it's like a smorgasbord of various games and obstacle courses that are designed, as you hear me say, to show you you. They are to show you what you're putting out in the world because everything is like a boomerang. Whatever you put out is coming back, right? So it's like to show you everything that you're putting out. It's, it's, a, it's a mirror. 
your your children are mirrors. They're definitely a huge mirror of you because they actually have you in them. Your relationships are mirrors. Your job is a mirror. Your community is a mirror. Your closet is a mirror. The world is a mirror showing you you. Showing you what you are lining up with. What you're meeting with. What you're vibrating with. Trying to help you to realize that you are not that. You are something way larger than life. You are something so much more profound and significant. You are something so much more beautiful. You're something so much more multidimensional. That's what this reality is trying to help you to come to terms with. And for some people, it takes a lifetime. Can you imagine leaving out of here and not having come to terms with any of that? Can you imagine? Like not having come to terms with any of that. And the interesting thing is, can you imagine going through this life and not realizing that you are not those things, that those things are put in your path to help you discover who you really are, and that you're a diamond. That you're a diamond shining bright like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. Y'all know I will play that, but I don't feel like getting cited today. I've been cited for about the last 10 videos. <laughs> if they ever change the rules on YouTube, I'm, I'm going to be out. Y'all can just vis visit me over on just know the next channel will be called Tunisia Ali. Just jokes. We're not bringing that into our reality. But seriously, understanding that it's the real you, it's the quintessential you, it's the, the spiritual you that wants to be seen. And it's like a diamond that has to be polished. And until you polish it and get off all the dust, it can't shine. It can't show you that it is priceless, that it is the most beautiful and rare of all the gemstones. It can't show you. So you have to clear away the cobwebs. You have to clear away the grit. And you have to come into your full being by recognizing that none of that stuff is reality. That you came down here, that your real purpose, before your purpose was your job and whatever it is, like this is a part of my purpose. I know it is, I've known forever. But before that, I am my purpose. You come here to know you. You come here to experience your multidimensionality. So did everybody else many worlds before us, many, many, many timelines before us, but they couldn't do it because the energy down here was so daggone dense and heavy. Every time somebody tried to put their head up, it got snapped back down. Even the gravity was heavier. I'm joking. But every time they tried to rise up, the density, the heaviness, Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, now we can actually put our heads up. Some of us can look around. Some of us can look up. Oh my gosh. Some of us can stand up, y'all. Some of us can stand up. And then even still some of us can get our wings. And even still, some of us can graduate from the entire earth school and get our certificates. So your job is to assess where you are on this journey, baby. Where are you on this journey? Are your thoughts kicking your ass every day? Are you putting yourself down? Are you living in fear? Are you connecting with the matrix outside of you instead of creating the matrix within? How are you moving in the world? Is it serving you? Are you operating in a, in, a, in a paradigm of duality? Are you living in fear? Are you in judgment? Are you in separation? Have you forgotten that you are a part of the divine and that you move in the divine energy? And that because you're a part of the divine and you move in the divine, you care not, you have nothing to worry about? Life is an adventure and you came here to live it. You came here to tap into your multidimensionality. You came here to read minds. You came here to see energy. You came here to get your wings. You came here to teleport, to astral travel. You came here to see the multidimensional beings. You came here to be a channel. You came here to be a vessel for light. 
Hell, you came here to have fun and to experience the magnificence of you, baby. You signed up for it. That should give you some sort of solace. You signed up for this and you are not alone. I am here, so are the rest of the beings here that speak the same language that you speak, that are in the higher classroom within the earth school. Some of them people are in study hall. They're gonna be in study hall until they turn 85 because they refuse to do the work. Stay away from the people that are in study hall. Stay away from the people that are in pre-K. Those are the levels before you even get to karma 101, patience 101, gratitude 101, life 101. They're not even at that level. They are in pre-K. And that's fine because that's where they are supposed to be at this time. But that's not where you are supposed to be. So ask yourself, what is controlling your life? What is controlling your thoughts? Do you understand that you are not your thoughts? That your thoughts have to do with which of the classrooms, chat rooms, chat boxes, text threads, that that is what the nuisance of your mental energy, the monkey mind, that's where it's getting its content from. It's getting its content from whatever it is that you're vibrating with. So make the decision today to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. I love that biblical verse. Renewal of your mind means seeing things differently. Waking up to a new day, waking up to the Garden of Eden, having a fresh landscape to feed you each and every day, recognizing that in each moment, it's a new moment. Each moment is a new moment. Last moment is different than, than the moment before it. The next moment will be different from this moment. You can choose to wake up and look outside. And I can talk to someone on the phone and I can say, yeah, it's kind of chilly today. It's kind of dreary. We don't have any sunshine. What's the weather like where you are? Well, think about what you just said. It's kind of dreary. We don't have any sunshine. Well, sunshine, really we're thinking of sun, right? We're thinking of light, we're thinking of consciousness, we're thinking of DNA activation. We're thinking of brilliance, we're thinking of growth, we're thinking of expansion. So when I say we don't have any sunshine, how do you think that makes the universe feel? I'm saying for jokes, but I want you to take it to the next level. How do you think your body and your mental aspect translates that? We don't have any sunshine, we're not happy, we can't grow. Our perspective is truncated today. We feel like crap. We're not going to have a good day. There is no light. We're in a low vibe and a vibrational environment. No. There couldn't be anything farther from the truth. Oh, gosh. I think that is the thumbnail. Shout out to DJ. Let me pause this. I got to write that down. Imagine the empowerment. Well, we're going to get back to the sun first, but I don't want to forget this. So imagine the empowerment if you were told and really believed that the thoughts you were having were not you. That your thought was like the conscious mind. That's the superficial crap. Like when you think of the mountain, this is the only part you see. All of this underneath, that's beneath the mountain. That's the powerful. That's the most powerful stuff, right? So if this is your conscious and that's your subconscious, and then you have a super conscious, which is tapped into the larger one mind. Your super conscious can be likened to your highest self, your highest timeline version, the part of you that is your future self communicating to the present you that's down here in the earth plane struggling and, gro and groveling. Imagine if you understood that you were not your thoughts. Can you imagine? And, and you really believed it, then you would, every time you had a thought that didn't feel good, you would snatch that jump back. You would handle it. You would face off. 
you would straighten it out. You would affirm truth or you wouldn't pay it any attention. You would say, you know what? Let me take a deep breath because God is coursing through my veins. This is where I find my greatest connection with the creator. And you would feel totally empowered and you would not allow that stuff to take you out. And you'd be like, you know what? You wouldn't even pay it any attention. If it said, you know, you're not, you're not going to get that job tomorrow. You're like, oh my God, they're here. They're here. And you'd be like, oh, shit, I ain't got to listen to them. The real me knows the deal. I'm just going to turn the channel. Oh, I'm going to be mindful of my thoughts so that I can get, get entry into or gain entry into another level to the next echelon, to a higher vibration, to a different TV station, to a different radio station. I'm getting off AM, I'm traveling FM. You understand what I'm saying? So this is when you do that. But back to the sun, when you're thinking about that, you gotta think about that differently. And you've got to say, even if you said the sun is playing hide and go seek today, but it's out there. Or you know what? This beautiful tree is blocking or shading me right now. Or it's a beautiful day. I'm living in a different hue today. But it's gorgeous. Everything is just the way it's supposed to be. How's your day today? My day is wonderful. Because how your day is depends on what's in here. When you're feeling 100 in here, guess how beautiful that day is going to be. Do you know one of the superpowers is the ability to, to, to affect the weather? Some people, if you know that you're someone that affects the weather or when you want it to rain, it rains. When you, when you want it to stop raining, it stops raining. Put that in the chat. That's one of the superpowers. You have the ability. Even you were given... Uh, custodianship over the entire planet, over everything in the seas and everything in the skies, over everything in this material realm. So step up to your rightful place and assume the position. Let me know if you get something out of here. We have lawsuit and a pay raise negotiation at the end. Saving money for a rainy day. We're no longer gonna save money for a rainy day, though. We're not gonna. We're not gonna take on that low vibrational energy. You're gonna put money to the side for an investment opportunity. We no longer save for rainy days because we're not manifesting rainy days. Whoever wrote this deck, Miss Jennifer, have about three to six months worth of living expenses. How about have have about three to six months worth of your expenses that normally you live with for the purpose of investing or diving deep or taking your life in another direction. We have a pay raise negotiation. Some of you need to do this in a relationship. It may not be actual money, but maybe you're trading for something else. You're saying, I am worth more. And I'm no longer going to work for these for pennies. Premium, natural if it is the skin job, hair care I require more. My own if you hands. have your own Visit company, maybe it's Magic raising website. your price, adding Magic more value so, so that you can raise your price or explaining your value or not even explaining, simply acknowledging your value so that other people can acknowledge your value. Here we have lawsuit receiving money. Okay, now some of you are in the midst of a lawsuit. You may be in the midst of a class action lawsuit. Uh, you, you could find yourself in a situation where I'm going to clarify this, but you could be being sued. Maybe it's a, you had a car wreck and the insurance is, is breathing down your neck. Uh, they haven't quite decided who was at fault, but maybe you will be at fault and you will have to take care of something. Maybe you've been suing someone. Maybe this has to do with a child support case. Let's see if we can get anything else related to this but please no matter where you are emphasize your value whether it's to your company in your relationship sometimes the first person we have to emphasize our value to is to ourselves because we can't emphasize our value to nobody else until we start with ourselves to thine own self be true charity starts at home does it not tell us about this receiving money or having to pay up can you give us any clues? I see $50 bills down there, $100 bills, and I see the, what's it, the Gavin? What's that thing called that they um 
We have the King of Swords and the world. Look at that. Some of you are suing a masculine energy for child support and it has come to an end. Others of you may have an attorney who is fighting for you or on your behalf and he's getting ready to communicate to you that everything has reached its end and you can celebrate here what the world card is about a sense of accomplishment it is about ascending it is about bringing something to a formidable close it is saying that you have gone in you have traveled the frequency you have come up against yourself you've had tower moments you fought the good fight you know what spiritual warfare is about you picked yourself up and you moved in the direction of hope and optimism you have faced the day of judgment. In fact, you have judged yourself. You know who you are now. You're shining bright to the world. And now you have graduated. You are going to the show. You have elevated. Okay? I hope this message resonates with someone. I hope that you find it in somehow enriching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Give it those purple hearts. Shout out to all of you, all of you, all of you. Loving on you. Y'all know who you are. Okay, you know who you are. Oh my gosh, all of you. There's about 10 of you who are constantly showing up. I'm sending you love. Melly Malini, I think is your name. Zaza, Andrea, Natalie, DJ, Jerry, Havutu, the list. Keisha, Falita has been going in on the videos because she fell behind. To all of you, and even those of you whose names I did not remember to mention or I can't mention because there are too many of you, just know that you are loved. Just know that you came here to play this game, that you came here to master this game, that that's really what it is, that you came here to master the game. And to come to know self. And when I say come to know self, you came here to embrace your multidimensionality. Don't allow these potholes, these manholes, and these ditches to drag you off to the side of the road and cause you to forget who you are. Remember the love that you are. This is the end of that cycle there. You have put it into something. That's why you got that sword. Some of you have severed a connection with something that is not serving you anymore. And for many of you and us, because we all have to be on watch. You know how they have those security watches, details in certain neighborhoods where people have to take shifts and they have to uh, be the security within the neighborhood. You have to be on watch at all times because life is not static. Your energy is not static. It's constantly increasing or decreasing is constantly elevating or de-elevating is constantly evolving or devolving or de-evolving and so you have to be at the wheel at all times there's always work to be done there are always weeds to pull we live in a creative universe what are you going to create if you haven't purchased my book manifesting your masterpiece you can get it on Amazon.com to the thousands of you who have purchased that book. I love you. I appreciate you. Please go back and do your reviews and let me know how that book has or is enriching your life. Hello, hello, hello. If you are not using Melanin Magic Hair Oil, then what are you using? Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic Skin and Hair Care brand. The I Am Melanin Magic Hair Oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage and promotes growth and can be used on all hair types and looks, from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and it's antifung. So you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair, and it's anti-frizz too. Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic since February of this year, and check out the new growth. Like, it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, 
this is what she looked like. I am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. This is really all your hair needs. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. It's amazing. The product speaks for itself. Order yours today and don't delay. Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.